Welcome to Mysterious Creatures with Forrest Galanti. I'm your host Emma. And I'm Aggie. In this exciting episode Forrest seeks out the Lake Chelan dragon. He first introduces his wife Jessica. As the family is having a family day at the beach. She has a master's in education and a passion for wildlife like Forrest. She tells Forrest there are reports of lake monsters all along the Columbia River that flows into the ocean. People have been spotting Nessie, in Loch Ness, Scotland, since 1933. She goes on to mention others. Wally, Agapogo, and Charlie. Forrest mentions the Pacific Northwest is littered with lake monster stories. The Pacific Northwest an area known as the Cascade Arc includes nearly 20 major volcanoes, among a total of over 4,000 separate volcanic vents including numerous stratovolcanoes, shield volcanoes, lava domes, and cinder cones, along with a few isolated examples of rarer volcanic forms such as Tuyas. Forrest wants to start with the Lake Chelan Dragon. This creature, also known as the Winged Alligator Snake, lives in Washington's deepest lake, 1,486 feet, has the legs and body of an alligator, the head and eyes of a serpent, sharp teeth, a long, scaly tail and bat-like wings. Some say it's related to Scotland's Nessie. Luckily for Forrest, Jessica knows a source. His name is John Fahey. He told the couple that one source claimed to have witnessed several humps in the lake, but did not take photos. He then gives the history of the lake and the area. The lake was carved by a glacier and became a huge glacial lake called Lake Masuli, it was as large as Lake Erie. When the glaciers melted, massive flooding occurred and the lake now was connected to waterway to the ocean. He tells them that pools are where the lake monsters are commonly spotted and says to go. Says to go to the deepest part of the lake. After hearing these revelations, Forrest and the crew scramble to the boat dock and obtain several pontoon boats. It's a 20 miles trek up the lake to the deepest part. It is remote, rugged, rough and windy. Along the way they allow the baby to steer the boat. It becomes cold and miserable. Due to the weather, Forrest decides to make camp. To stay hidden amongst the wildlife, they cover the camp with camouflage cloth to stay stealthy. Then they set up camera traps, find out where any any animal is feeding, this is the best way to capture it. They set up several cameras where the stream meets a lake. Small fish wash out from the stream, the big fish, in return, eat them. While scanning at night, they catch something on the thermal. They don't know what they've seen. The next morning Jess shows the vegetation you can eat. Morel mushrooms, sweet Sicily, and more. She then brings some vegetation back for the crew to eat. While she's a what forest forest catches lake trout, rainbow trout, and a plethora of other fish. Forrest cooks the fish with the veggies that Jess collected. Mitch, the cameraman, talks about the lard he had to eat in Louisiana that Forrest overcooked and made him eat. The couple then watches the trail cam footage, in all there were more THN 600 hours of footage. They spot a beaver, Jess believes that many people could see a beaver and mistake it for a monster. This happened in Paca Moonshine Lake, in Maine, where many people claim there is a lake monster, while others believe it's a band of otters. Forrest then suggests using a better cam to search under the water. It shows a 3D drawing of what they see. They decide to scan the deep parts of the lake. While searching they think they discovered a cave or a hollow, like a dome. Forrest wants to check it out. He is diving in a lake, ANS special care is needed. There is no salt in water to keep you buoyant so you will sink like a rock and the water is 43 degays. While going to the spot, they discover it is an old car. So they continue to search. Then Forrest finds scales inside a crevice. He believes he knows what it is. They go to the surface, where he examines the scales. He suggests going down river to see if his suspicions are correct. Forrest suggests going to the the Dallas Dam where he'll fish the monster out. He uses shad for bait and the lines fitted for tuna. He numerous rods to double his chance of catching a fish. After five hours, he catches a white sturgeon. Can grow to 20 feet and up to 1,800 pounds. Can live up to 100 years and records how they lived up to Lake Chelan. Well, that will do it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Please come back next time for more adventures. I'm Emma Holmes, and I'll see you next time. And I'm Aggie Flores. Please come again. As always, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you get a chance, please check my cousin's videos on this channel as we check the ghost and lake monster legends of Maine. Thank you for watching. As always, please subscribe to our channel. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. See you next week.